Miss Lady's here and her mom noticed a tiny lump we could barely find. We shaved the area and we knew we needed to get a sample of it so we can determine what it was. So after getting a sample from a lump, what we used to do is make up a microscope slide, stain it, and then put it in a microscope and try to guess what it is. But thanks to digital cytology, the process has completely changed. So instead of squinting underneath the microscope, we take the whole slide, we put it into our cassette tape, into our high definition digital cytology, and come take a look at what we see. After this slide is scanned, we have thousands of cells to analyze here. And by we, I mean we send these straight to a board certified veterinary pathologist for an official cytology report so we can know what lady's lump is and what we need to do about it. And the pathologist concluded that lady's small lump is in fact a mast cell tumor and we discuss that we must remove this from lady's body. Pet parents ask us if a small lump can be a big deal and indeed it can and in lady's case it was. It was a mast cell tumor. Here you can see three centimeter margins were drawn around the mast cell tumor. Here you can see over 100 millimeters of tissue was removed around this mast cell tumor. Here you can see 30 millimeters deep underneath this mast cell tumor because we want to get it all out. And here you can see over 150 millimeters of the skin incision. Thankfully, the pathology report came back in as a low grade mast cell tumor. This means it's the best prognosis possible for Lady and she can go back to living her normal life and all we have to do is watch for new lumps.